father like I'm Naruto. Keep the blade on me, Ichigo. Who really wanna go toe for toe? DTR from Tokyo. Diamonds flipping up on the stove. Lucky man like a fully cloak. Diamonds wanna go. Hello guys, this is Nagato's Revenge, and welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, I'm basically gonna be showcasing on how to add cover art for your PlayStation 2 games on your jailbroken PlayStation 3 using Multiman. If you guys also want to go ahead and follow my social medias to know when I drop my latest videos and hacking guides on this channel, please be sure to go ahead and follow. With that being said, let's go ahead and talk about the prerequisites. For this video, what you'll need is a modded PlayStation 3 that is on custom firmware. Also, you need the latest version of Freebook toolbox if you do decide to go ahead and FTP files go ahead and also cover get some cover art for your respective PS2 game and also you need the PlayStation 2 game of course also if you do decide on using FTP go ahead and download FileZilla which is optional and for this tutorial we're basically going to be covering over the method with the USB stick and if you do guys are using the uh, USB stick make sure to format it to FAT32 and also you need the latest version of Multiman or Webman. In this case, I'm going to be using Multiman, and also you need Paint, or if you have Photoshop, this is what we're going to need to use for to basically change the size for our cover art. If you have all these steps, then you're ready to go. Meet you guys into the actual tutorial. Alright, hi guys, hope y'all guys are doing great today. For this tutorial, it's very simple and pretty easy for, you know, common users. Um, There's really not that much too many steps for this process, so it should be fairly easy. Before we even uh, get started, if y'all guys are doing the FTP method, make sure you go ahead and download Rebug Toolbox. And also make sure you go ahead and download FileZilla. I'll have a link in the description below for any of my files as shown here and also what I'm using on the PS3 as well like I do for all my videos but in this case I'm just going to be using the multi-man method and that is just copy and pasting over via what USB but also with FileZilla and Rebug Toolbox and also that um, your PS3 is connected via Wi-Fi that method also works but our end goal today is basically to add cover art so we kind of give you know maybe a little more official look to our PlayStation 2 games so the first thing we want to do is go ahead and open up Google Chrome or whatever browser your choice and go ahead and type in basically your game and then basically the cover art from it so it's pretty simple like right here I just typed in Kingdom Hearts cover art PS2 one thing I like to say make sure that your cover art is not grainy so what I like to do is go ahead and go to size and make sure it's large right here by going ahead and hitting tools and then finding um, cover art that corresponds what I usually like to use um this is a website called mobygames.com they usually collect all of the um basically all of the cover art for a lot of PlayStation 2 games and just games in general so this is a pretty good website to check or you can just go on Google images until you find um your cover art that you want in this case mine's is 800 by 1131 uh basically uh by height and width and what we need to do is go ahead and download it so all you would need to do is just go ahead hit um right click it go ahead and save image as and then just save it to your desktop i already did that step here but what we need to do is go ahead to verify that our game is in these uh certain dimensions because if your game is too wide and if it's not in a dot jpg form if i am correct i'm not too sure with pngs because i tried pngs before with multiman but they weren't working so well so that's why i assume that multiman can only read dot jpgs if i'm wrong please somebody notify me in the comments section but make sure that your file is a .jpg and then also you want to name your file to the exact thing of your game name so if you name your game kingdom hearts for example and by region like this it has to be the same name of your game and i'll explain a little bit more about that once we get into multi-man but assuming that you guys have your game or game cover art and also you have the download uh, Multiman PKG. Before we even transfer this to our USB, what we need to do is just go ahead and open up Paint. And by doing that, you just hit right click, go to open with, go to Paint. This does work with Adobe Photoshop as well, but most people don't. Make sure that your thing is formatted um, to you know 800 by 1131 pixels. And the way to do that is by hitting resize, going all the way over to pixels, and then just go ahead and type, you could, unclick this as well 800 by 1131 pixels and then just hitting ok and file save as to a jpg so if i go here 
and then hit save and then just go ahead and click yes and the only reason why i redid it even though mine was the same dimensions is just to show you guys on how to do that process with that being said what we could do now is go ahead and plug in our usb of choice which i'm doing now and what we need to do is go ahead and make sure that our usb of choice is formatted to fat 32 so the way we're going to do that is go ahead and right click over it go to properties and then in our file system it should state that our thing is on fat 32 if it doesn't state that it's on fat 32 and it states like if it's on xfat or ntfs what we need to do is go ahead and right click over the drive itself go to format right here and then for the file system if it says ntfs go ahead and switch it to fat 32 if it's from xfat just go ahead and switch it from fat 32 for your allocation unit size all you need to do is either hit default allocation or just leave it um it really doesn't matter for um this bit but if you unsure just go ahead and hit default allocation size and for your volume label it really doesn't matter either as well you could just name it to whatever and then go ahead and make sure to hit this um button right here make sure it's checked that says quick format and if you don't hit this it will take longer to format the drive but once you have all these options done what we need to do is go ahead and hit start but before you hit okay please be sure to back up any files or important data from your flash drive and then just put it back out to your pc the reason why we're doing this because anytime you format a usb drive or a hard drive or anything for that matter when it comes to pcs um when you don't um basically back up it'll just erase the drive clean so once you press ok you'll basically have your usb drive formatted to fat32 assuming that you guys are on fat32 with me what we need to do is go ahead and transfer our um cover art and actually as shown here i could kind of show you now early instead of multiman you see how my game is named kingdom hearts usa.iso and my thing is named kingdom hearts U or usa with the um parentheses jpg it has to be the same name as your iso file so even if your name was like i don't know uh midnight club 3 and it didn't even have the region make sure that your cover art also states that it was midnight club 3 with the region but assuming that y'all guys, you know, understand that portion, what we need to do is go ahead back to our PlayStation 3. And then right now, I'm going to go ahead and safely eject our USB and make sure you guys do that as well. Even though I have a hard time still learning that process myself, I always just yank my out my PS or my USB. But with that being said, let's go ahead to the PS3 and finish up this tutorial. So meet you guys there. All right guys, so as shown here, we're basically back on the PlayStation 3. What we need to do is go ahead and plug in our USB into whatever slot that your PlayStation 3 has, depending if it's fat or slim, and make sure to go ahead into Package Manager, and then from there, go to Install Packages. If you guys are already on Rebug Firmware and the latest one, and if you go into System Storage, if you're doing the FTP method, you could go ahead and download uh, basically or install I should say rebug toolbox if you don't have this PKG as well I have a link in the description down below on how to get it and then from there what you need to do now if for regular users and stuff go to the third option and what we needed to go and install is multiman so as shown here I'm basically just going to reinstall my multiman it shouldn't take too long since it's only like 35 uh, megabytes but assuming that you guys have you know multi-man installed or webman installed it's kind of the same process what we need to do is go ahead and boot into multi-man all right since we're in rebug toolbox i mean excuse me not rebug toolbox since we're in multi-man what we need to do now is go ahead and go all the way to our left go into firewall manager slash multi-man operating system let me go ahead and x these two windows out and what we need to do now is go ahead and hover over and double click on ps3 root and then if your USB drive is in, depending on um, what it says, it may say USB 000 or 001, depending on what slot you have it in. Go ahead and select your USB by double clicking X. And now what we need to do is go ahead and find our image of choice. So in this case, this is Kingdom Hearts, the USA version. Go ahead and hit copy. And now we can go ahead and close out this window. If we go back to PS3 root and to dev underscore HDD zero, and if you guys already know how to install PlayStation 2 ISOs, and if you don't, I have a card right now in this video and showing you how to do that as well. But you, what you want to go to is dev underscore HDD zero, aka your hard drive, and then go into PS2 ISO, and then just go ahead and paste over your image. So now this is how it should be basically formatted. So as you see here, I did it for another game. So Burnout Revenge, 
it has the exact same thing the only thing is different is just basically the image and also just the renaming of the file so what we need to do now just to verify that our game is showing up is by hitting r1 hitting refresh and then from here guys as you see here my other games don't have it since i didn't do it for the process but burnout revenge has it and kingdom hearts has it and that's basically how you successfully install cover art for your playstation 2 titles um if you guys did like this tutorial please be sure to leave a like please be sure to you know share this with your friends if you did learn something but with that being said my name is nagato and i'm signing out thank you guys for watching So he's smooth.